The main thing I feel about this, you do the, everything very well. You have a good even three, which is a very good test of a good careful player. That triplet pattern is excellent. The thing it needs to do is to sound more like a real carillon. In this place too, you're, you have the right idea, of, of course, but keep them a little stronger so that one leads into the next place. You come to the D, da, 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 da. No, that's too late. It leads, he's leading into that key. So D, da, 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 da. That's what you want to hear is the first, first chord of the next phrase. Try, try the same place again. But feel stronger yourself. You're going along just exactly the same. You feel, you feel exactly the same. You need to feel stronger as you go to the end of that phrase. I know that sounds silly, but it's true. I guarantee that it's true. You have to feel that this, the phrase is stronger so that, because you automatically respond without doing anything else about it. it and then it's not artificial. Um, all right, same thing. And then he comes down here. What about your pedal? Where's your combination for this? All right, now, once more. It becomes more powerful all the time. This is his last chance. The carillon is finished here. It's the last chance for it to be heard. So be stronger when it comes there. It's just the way you think about it. And not whether the chord's going to be right or not. It's going to be right. So let's go back there once more, just before that last part, wherever. Yeah, but when he comes to the end, the touch doesn't change. It's slower in, in time, of course, but the, the articulation should still be there. It shouldn't be turned into legato, because that poor Carillon has gone through this whole time and suddenly it's, it doesn't have an effect. So keep the, um, the, your touch, all of these detached, just the same. They're detached in a uh, balanced way. I mean, the, the tempo is balanced according to what you're doing. You're retarding, so the, of course the detachment comes a little later, but it should always be there so that the, before you come to the final cadence, it's ex exactly the same effect. Dee da 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 dum. All right, let's do the last phrase just once more. Too light. Da 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 da. Dee da 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 bum. Yeah, that's better. Think of those little yeah. things and listen all of the time. I can't say enough for listening as if you were somebody else. You always have to play pieces at the organ, especially as if you were a listener out somewhere or other in the room and not doing the playing. Because you, find, you hear a lot of things that you wouldn't hear necessarily if you're thinking of only what's going on down here. You have to think of what is going on from way back somewhere <coughs> as if you were listening to somebody else play it. I keep getting after you because you're going to play this very well if you do those things. Thank you.
I wondered what you thought of that temple and if you had a comment about the temple oh, in the piece. Yes, I'm glad you mentioned that too. Um, I think it could be faster, but I let him, I, I, I think for him it's good right now. <laughs> But it could be a little faster. It's you, the uh, that triplet really determines the tempo in a sense because of the you want it to be clear. Yes, it could be faster because that's the way a carillon sounds anyhow. beginning, the articulation at the very beginning is good, but it should be, it's a kind of um, fanfare, da, 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 da. You want, it's an announcement. So uh, don't be too timid about making that, uh, emphasizing this first broken chord. Da, 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 da. That's better, and not quite so short on the um, non legato. Sure. Yeah. But then you have this figuration. Da 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 da. Da 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 di da da da. That's better. Mm -hmm. Then the articulation pattern really should remain the same all the way through. If you decide on one pattern, it should stay the same. Unless the material changes, of course. Mm -hmm. But I mean, for the same material. This is an important figuration. So this, particularly those two short notes, should be emphasized. That's characteristic of the whole prelude. So it needs to speak with authority. And then very even articulation on the chordal patterns. He spent all that time getting around to his G here. <laughs> so when you come to that, da, 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 that is another place mm -hmm. that needs to be, uh, have good authority okay. because that sets the tone for the whole printed. And then the rest of this goes along. Mm -hmm. But of course, these should be very even. This is, I spoke about articulation, and the articulation changes in some of these places where it isn't necessary. Okay. So it should be there or, or not. Right. And it's all right if you keep the, I think a, a close non legato is a good idea, mm -hmm. but it should be something that remains the same because the piece is making the same statement all the time. And so the patterns that go into the performance of it should make the same mm -hmm. statement. Make the um, retardation stronger. Then the rest of it just sails along. My husband always, always called this the Grenadiers. He thought that this was like the uh, Gilbert and Sullivan of all things. <laughs> um, so the, the cadence, which it, it does happen in the, the Gilbert and Sullivan, if you've ever seen one. Um, da 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 You just 
just wanted to sound solid, but as if that's it, folks. <laughs> and that